Hi, my name is Garrett Fry, and I'm a matte painter for Feature Films. I've been working with the Nomen Workshop and the Foundry to create a Nomen training DVD called Advanced 3D Matte Painting Techniques. And the Foundry has given me this opportunity to talk about how a matte painter uses Mari, or rather how Mari is incorporated into a matte painting workflow. How does Mari fit into a matte painting workflow? Or in other words, how do matte painters use Mari? So I can start out by saying that matte painting has a long-standing, well-established set of workflows for creating immersive 3D projected environments. And the great thing about Mari is that it enhances these different workflows. So I'm going to be talking about uh, four different ways that matte painters have used or could use Mari, and it's definitely not limited to these. The first one is for creating matte painting assets. And in this way, matte painters are using Mari much like a texture artist would, where they are creating uh, textures for a specific model, but they're creating it in a way that is specifically for matte painting, which has a uh, different requirements than what a texture artist would be doing or would be working with. Matte painting assets are different in that they are typically low res and that the textures that are being baked into the UV is based on photography and has light already within the image. And so you have a low res piece of geometry with really high res or high detailed textures baked into, uh, into the model. So the second way that matte painters will use Mari is for patching extreme foreground matte painted projections. So let's say you have a rock that's zooming past camera, and within that rock there's a lot of parallax that's going on. And if a matte painter will project a matte painting onto the rock, then inevitably you're going to have some stretching and smearing. So a good use of Mari is to take that model into Mari and start patching up the different areas that are smearing. And then from Mari, you can export a UV texture or a projection setup. And then within Nuke, you can layer these UVs and projection setups on top of each other to get a really tight uh, foreground object that is uh, that has no smearing to it at all. So let me walk you through this workflow of taking care of extreme foreground patches within Mari. And I'm going to be using this diagram uh, from the Matte Painting for Filmmakers website. So you have your Nuke script here, and you have a lot of different elements within your Nuke script. But uh, to start out, you will have uh, two different elements, which is your projection geo and your projection images in camera, which consists and makes up your projection setup. Uh, and when you have done your projection setup, you may find that you have some smearing that is caused um, by your projections, and so you want to send that into Mari to, to do some patchwork. So you go ahead and, using the Nuke Mari bridge, send your projection geo and your images into Mari. And within Mari, you can paint directly onto the model uh, within the Mari package uh, painting tools, which are quite nice. Or you can use uh, the unproject tool set that Mari has, which is also quite nice, to send things quickly into Photoshop. And then from Photoshop, you can send it back into Mari um, and bake down those textures uh, or those projection images. And then once you have done your patches, you have two options of sending that back into Nuke and adding that as a part of your projection setup. So you can do that by either sending a uh, projection image and a camera, or you can send uh, a UV texture. And within Nuke, which is uh, really fantastic, you can actually layer on top of your original uh, projection setup a new projection, or 
you can layer a, uh, a UV texture directly on top of your original projection setup. So um, that is the basic workflow for taking care of patches within Mari. The third way is when a matte painter creates a completely 3D matte painted environment within Mari and then export that environment to Nuke so that this environment can be integrated into a variety of different shots and different camera angles. So let me give you an example. On the Great Gatsby, they needed a hallway extension that was going to be used on 20-something different shots, seen from all different angles and in different lighting conditions. So I created a low resolution model of the hallway extension and baked into that model in Mari high resolution projections and then sent that through the Nuke Mari bridge into Nuke and provided tools and things for the compositors to integrate that hallway into these 20 different shots. And in that way, I was able to create one single 3D matte painted environment in Mari, and it worked for these 20 different shots. With this uh, workflow for creating a completely 3D matte painted environment, um, you will start out with a shot camera and scene geo, um, or layout geo, or LiDAR scan, or something. Um, that you will receive from the pipeline um, and those are sent uh, into Maya where uh, a low resolution model will be made and in the example I was giving before about the Great Gatsby I created a low resolution hallway extension and then from Maya you can send that into Mari the traditional way that a texture artist would do it or you can actually have um, uh, have it in Nuke and then send it into Mari using the Nuke Mari bridge. So you have two different ways of doing that. But within Mari, you can paint uh, directly onto the model or uh, like in the previous example of the other workflow, you can send it into Photoshop and then send it uh, back into Mari. And then from Mari, you can uh, send your projection geo uh, and your projection images and camera or a UV set or a combination of uh, both of these uh, to be combined into one uh, projection or UV setup. And this is all done through the, uh, the Nuke Mari bridge. The last one I'm going to be talking to you about how a matte painter uses Mari is that they can incorporate a photogrammetry process into a matte painting workflow where you start out with a series of images of an object and you build a model based on those images and then paint it up in Mari and export that via the Nuke Mari bridge into Nuke where you can relight that model and integrate it on the fly into your matte painted environment. Thank you for watching and on the next part of this video I'm going to walk you through how to take a photogrammetry modeled object and make it a matte painted projected element that lives within Nuke.